Hey, it's your man Jay, and we are back with another video, folks. This is the LG Wing, a phone that you guys have requested that I purchase and buy and review, but I wasn't doing it for a thousand bucks. Now that it's $300 off, I grabbed it right away, and I still have some reserves about paying $700 for this device. However, I know it's going to be a lot more phone than some other $700 phones with this processor. So 765G to me is definitely not worth a thousand bucks. But okay, I'm cutting some corners at seven. So let's do it. Eight gigs of RAM, 4,000 milliamp hour battery inside, 64 megapixel main shooter on the back, 6.8 inch display that swivels open. You know what I'm saying? Android 10 on board, 1080 by 2460, IP54 rating, Military grade drop protection at 810G. Uh, what more can I tell you about it? Uh, let's let's just get into it. I'm not gonna keep on. I think I'm I think I'm shredding this box. <clears throat> so here it is. I played with this a bunch of times and I just opted not to um, not to get it. This is the T-Mobile variant. That is where I got it for $6.99. You get some materials and stuff in here, and you get. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a dongle for the headphone jack. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. And then you get type C cable, type C to type C, and then the charger. And let's put this away. Because we don't really care about the box, do we? So let's see here. Now here it is. Beautiful color. It won't look this nice uh, after a while. Uh, but you've got the uh, volume here, power button here. Now these buttons are like little bumps. I think that's pretty cool. Then you've got the three camera setup on the back here. This three camera setup uh, is, let's see here. It is 64 at 1.8, uh, f1.8, f and that's a wide by default. And then you have a 13 megapixel ultra wide, uh, and then you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It's incredible. Uh, and then uh, on the front, obviously, it's a pop-up 32 megapixel camera that shoots in 1080p. Bluetooth 5.1. Let's power on here while we're talking about it. There we go. All right. You got your Type-C down there, your microphone. There's the pop-up camera. There's my T-Mobile logo, logo, logo. Uh, man, I'm just ready to just swivel this thing. It's it's going to be so addictive. I know that it is. So I'm going to get this set up real quick, and then I'll come back to you after I get signed in. All right, guys. So um, this is obviously the highlight of this device. So it's still doing a restore with all my applications, but I wanted to show you if you get this device, or if you were wondering just about this device, this is what you're dealing with right here. So as soon as you flick it open for the first time, uh, if you don't go through this setup and you close it and you open it a couple times, it'll take you through the setup again. I wanted to start here and show you this in this part of the video. So it introduces the swiveling uh, home screen, basically. So for swiveling app support, blah, blah, blah. It takes you through how to do this, add in a range. It shows you how to do it. Uh, you swipe up, you hold it, and it'll appear there. That's how you do it. <clears throat> you can adjust them by moving them around, by holding them left and right. And then right here, you can do uh, two apps with swivel mode. You can add multiple applications to open at the same time. So I think that's that's pretty dope. I actually didn't know that it just had this. I still have my Velvet, and so obviously I can do that as well. Uh, to add multiple apps and shortcuts to the second screen, touch and hold an empty space on the home screen, and that's how you can do it. Uh, and you can go to second screen uh, apps settings. You can go there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a bunch more in here, but here is the device right here. Wow, this is this is pretty dope. Um, no apps on here right now at the moment, but I will be uh, setting them up and everything. So uh, I'm very curious to see how this browser is gonna do. Uh, it's doing a restore, that's why you see my Asphalt 9 up there, because Asphalt 9 is an application that they kind of brag about on this device right here. So it's it's installing right now. This is my first impressions and unboxing of this device. So I know this is gonna be real dope. I saw um, Eric's video and he um, was doing the stabilization on this thing. And this is, this is a pretty dope, this is a pretty dope phone. This is, this is gonna be really nice. Uh, so I wanna go into settings real quick here. 
let's close this up. We'll get back to that. So let's go into settings here. And, you know, bear in mind, this is a 6.8 inch display. You know what I'm saying? So you got always on display. You can set this up here. You can see, let's turn that on because I like uh, always on display. I like to have the tools there for the music. You can do brighter display. It tells you it's going to drain the battery. And you got these different options for the, um, the always on display. That's pretty dope. <clears throat> In the settings here, this is a, a basic rundown of how this phone is set up. Uh, you've got, let's go into the display, by the way. So you've got your navigation bar. You can turn this on, but I'm rocking with the gestures. No way. I don't want that on. Uh, let's see here. You've got night mode. You can set it or whatever. Use night mode. I, I, I like to use night mode. Uh, video enhancer. We have to turn that on. Swivel home. This is where you get into the settings for the swivel home. Uh, home screen lock prevents aspirin widgets from being arranged and removed. So that just means if you set it up, you know, no one can change it around. So let's get to this um, right here. You can see on the swipe down, it goes to the notification panel, or you can do the integrated search. That's one thing you can do. Now, multi-app shortcut. This is where you can set up those multiple apps. Uh, so once I get my applications on here, I'm going to be installing. I'll have uh, YouTube open up and then I'll have my studio open up or something. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'll have UPS and FedEx open at the same time. You know, it, it's installing here. So we'll get into that. And we're also going to get into um, uh, the bloatware that's on here, too, because I see some. I saw it. You saw it, too, that Facebook. You saw it. I saw it, too. So swipe down. I got that done. Yep. Uh, the the slide, slide effect, get breeze, carousel, I don't like, panorama, and slide. These are your effects that you can do uh, on your home screen or whatever. So that's the uh, basic home. You can do this right here. So um, I had it set, um, show all apps. Uh, I like it like this. I don't want the app drawer icon like that. I don't want it like that. So let's apply it like that. Because right now it was showing the, the app drawer icon on the other screen. So let's see if it goes away. It's still there. So I guess with that screen, it's going to have to be there. Now, I'm sure you can adjust these animations on here because this isn't a, this feel does this phone doesn't feel fast. You know what I'm saying? So uh, themes and wallpapers, uh, you got to allow it. And these are the default wallpapers. I, this is the one that's on there right now. Um, that's, that's a pretty dope wallpaper. Uh, see more. This is probably gonna take me into the store. Yeah. I don't want to go into the store right now, but you got 18 more over here. And these are some beautiful wallpapers, son. This is some beautiful wallpapers. Oh, this is dope right here. That's pretty dope right there. I like that. And then you can do a wallpaper for this joint. That's, that's pretty dope, man. That is freaking dope right there. This wallpaper up here, this is beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh, it shows you how it's gonna look. Check this one out right here. This is this is dope right here. Man, that is dope. We gotta go with something like that in a minute. This one is nice too. I think I'm gonna go back and let's rock, let's rock out with this one right here. Well, let's check this other one real fast. Just to see. No, it's not available because that's one of the live wallpapers. So it's got to be one of these. And we're going to apply this one right here. This is this is dope. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's dope. See, the animation is kind of slow. But I bet after playing with this for a while, I can um, I can speed it up. You know what I'm saying? But those are the wallpapers. Those are some dope wallpapers. And you can buy more wallpapers and all of that. You can get into all of that if you want to. It's got themes. Obviously, I can change the themes. You got your lock and security. You got your extensions here. You can uh, ex extend view on swivel mode. Yes, we want that. Smart cleaning. You know what I'm saying? We know what this is. It optimizes your phone. Um, context awareness. Oh, this is to show you, like, you want to set up your home and everything. Gaming here, you got to definitely want to go that. Break time, one minute. Um, okay, so this is on. Oh, did I see knock? Did I see knock? Knock on. Oh, double sharp turn screen turn. Okay, boom, that's what's up. And this also has pin support, too. And the shortcuts, I don't like having the shortcuts on the home screen. So, like, on the lock screen, so I'm glad that's off. This is pretty nice right now. 
This is nice, man. You know, I'm pretty patient, you know what I mean, when it comes to certain things. Um, Yeah. Oh, this has two. Yo, son, this has. Yo, this has. This has 256 gigs. I honestly didn't know that, B. I really didn't know that. I didn't even pay attention to that. Let me see something up here. Did I see that before? Nope. This The T-Mobile version, this has 256 gigs. That's dope right there. 256 gigs. This camera records in 4K 30 and 4K 60 and 1080p 30 and 60. Uh, let's just get up out of here. So let's open up this camera right here. And so on the first boot, it's showing you how to move through the modes and stuff like that. Showing you how to get to the controls. This is the LG stuff though. Quick video, yeah. We don't need my location, so you swipe down like this. Dopeness, man, dopeness. I'm feeling it, man. This is, I mean, I've seen this before. I'm just surprised at, <laughs> this thing has 256 gigs of storage. That's, that's banging right there. So you got your auto scene optimizer, tips, everything. Save Jeff as the uh, high def high, uh, efficiency one. You can do that. The photos are right now set to 16, but you can turn them up to 64. I think that's beast mode, but you, you lose some stuff obviously with there when you do that. Looks like, no, no, you don't. Let me see. Nope, that was already great. Oh yeah, right here, you lose that. Yeah, yeah, you lose this option right here, but that's cool. You got live photos, focus track, uh, track uh, tracking focus. You got your grid. I like the grid for some reason. You can do voice. You can add that watermark shot on LG Wing. Let's let's rock with it like that. And we're going to go over to video. Uh, and let's get ASMR too. So all of that is on this device, man. This is banging bokeh voice. I will be using this to record a lot of videos, I can tell. So this is how you change it up here. So you can type up here. You go 4K60 on them. And I'm wondering, I'm going to find out because I'm going to start using this to record some videos. I didn't just get it just to review it. I'm, I, I like to use my LG phones to record videos because I think they're good. Let's go into settings right now. You can see it's got 4K 60 up there. You got that full vision, that 2460 by 1080. That's always going to be an option if it has that kind of resolution or whatever. Um, you got steady recording, save as, save as the HEVC, which your grid. That's on and popping. Then you got time lapse. That's what's up. Got your photos. You got your portrait. Ooh, I can't wait to test. You know I like the portrait photos, man. And you got your 3D stickers and more. You've got manual video. That's what, Oh, man. See, that's what I like about LG devices. That manual video, son. Oof. Gotta have that, man. LG devices is just banging like that, man. Their phones. LG was, I think, the first one to introduce the wide-angle shot. And they're, they're a company that's still doing YouTube live from their phones. You know how easy it's going to be to switch this and like swivel it open or whatever and then um, do a live video. Let's see what else you can download in here. I don't want to update it right now. I guess it won't let me do it, but I'll get in there and get some more modes or whatever. But that YouTube live, ooh, it's going to be dope. Let's see what happens when I swivel. You get the controls. Okay, so this is dopeness right here. This is fire right here. I I'm feeling this. So um, this is gimbal mode. As you can see here, you can adjust here. All of these right here. Gimbal mode, dual recording where I can record myself and someone else. That's pretty dope. Joystick mode. Let you know right here. Try moving it. Oh, boy, look at this. Join him. Come on, son. This is dope right here. Ugh, got it. That's killer right there. Uh, touch and hold to lock. That's dope. All right, got it, got it, got it. Oh, it's still give me a little tutorial. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is first person view mode, so freely move in any direction and use this mode when you're trying to create a video from all sorts of angles. And this is it right here. They're giving you a sample, son. That's, that's crazy right there. The pan and follow mode. Obviously, you can see what that means. And then you got your follow mode. That's dopeness right there. They're trying to get like, they're trying to get like um, my 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 um my GoPros over here, man. They're trying to get like these joints right here. And they, they're trying to they're trying to get like yeah, I'm trying to flex for a minute. They're trying to get like the, the DJI pockets. They're trying to they're trying to do it like that. 
Ooh. So I'm, I can't ready, wait to test this steady mode or whatever. Man, this is going to be fire. You got the dual recording mode. And so this will pop up right here. Front camera usage. Oh, look at that. Look at the iPhone 12 Pro Max on them. Boom, dual recording. That's dopeness right there, son. Dopeness. Dopeness. Yeah, man, I, I'm going to have a blast with this thing, man. A lot of you guys are like, JJ, you need to get that, man. You need to get that. Yeah, give me some money on that, son. Put some bread on that. And then I'll start grabbing everything. <laughs> nah, but on the real, though, I think I'm going to enjoy this phone right here, man. Because I already like LG devices. And I have no doubt, once I get this set up, I'm going to be gaming on this bad boy. Okay, all my apps is coming in now. So Okay, so let's go through here real quick. This is bloatware. This Facebook. Let me un Yes. Garbage. Garbage. I'm out of there. They got an FM radio. Um, this Google Play, this T-Mobile Play or whatever. That's cool, I guess. Um, what's this, in? this is all my Google stuff. Let's move this over here. Oh, cancel. We have to edit from up here, I think. Sort apps or range apps, yeah. Put that in. Let me see if I can put it inside of there. Yep, boom. There it is. Now, after that, these are the apps that I installed. You got the LG where I didn't install that, but we'll get a little bit of uh, gaming going on and stuff like that. We're going to hook this up, man. We're going to really give this a go. I'm going to have some fun with this. You know I'm going to be rocking with that Escalade soon. Ooh, man. All right, so there it is, man. Um, it's your man, Jay. Oh, my goodness, I'm feeling this. I'm totally patient when it comes to something. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm, I'm I'm totally patient when doing it. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm not feeling this animation right here, how slow it is. But the fact of the matter is, once I open it up, it's going to be on and popping after that. Mm. 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 Oof. This is crazy, B. I set up the fingerprint reader. And it's about as slow as I thought it was going to be. It's, this is how it is. So it's still doing a little bit of my... My updates and everything but let me get let me get this thing cleaned up before we get out of here i hope you guys enjoyed this video man i know it was a little long or whatever but this is a beautiful device now i gotta buy me some cases or whatever if you have a recommendation on the case go ahead and leave it down below i'm about i'm about to hit amazon and i'm gonna buy me a case more than likely even though i really don't want to i just want to leave it like this ah that's so beautiful so I recorded this entire video and edited this video on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me know how the footage is. Let me know how the audio is. Let me know what you think about this LG wing right here. Let's check one more thing before I get out of here, son. Let me check something real quick here. Ooh, bumpy cam, bumpy cam. Let's get in here. I'm going to check my, um, wait, you know what? Let's just go to my own videos and let's grab, let's grab this one. I want to check these speakers. The new General So's boneless wings, only at Zaxby's. These speakers are loud, by the way. I can already tell I like them. And I probably could adjust the EQ on it, too. All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So Go I'm starting 10. right here. This is three weeks right. with the iPhone. Let's get my... Mac. Let's get my... Ooh, like. boy, I'm going to enjoy this, son. Oh, man, I'm going to enjoy this. Even though this resolution is... Speakers aren't, like, extremely loud, but... They're definitely good. I love that I can sit up here and just do multiple things at once. <laughs> That's dope. That's how you control it from down there, son. Man, what? Ugh. Nasty, nasty. We in there, B. We in there. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.